Y'all know I, listen, one thing about me, I'm gonna wear better length flip ins, okay? Period. Pro tip, if you're a creator, get long-term partnerships. I'm the type of person, like, if somebody's like, oh girl, your hair is so long, or your hair is beautiful, I'm like, girl, these is clip ins, okay? City of mine. So I know my hair looks crazy, <laughs> um, but I'm really just giving it a break from like all the pulling and tugging because I'm about to do clip-ins again today, but I wanted to give my hair just like a little, kind of get a little too minute break. So I was just kind of letting it do its thing yesterday and then letting it, letting it do its thing this morning. So just letting my hair kind of breathe, you know. Um, but I'm about to try to finish up editing this video in the next like hour. I have a clarity call at 11.30. I really wanted to ride the Peloton today, but I didn't get up early enough. I was struggling to get up this morning, so here we are. Blah, 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 blah. But today I actually need to wash my clip-ins. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I style my clip-ins. So my hair is freshly washed. I did a deep treatment the other day, so like I'm cool with putting heat on it now. I just don't like putting heat on my hair when it's dirty. And I did that like two or three times and I never really do that the last wash. Thankfully, my hair is still naturally, okay? I didn't get heat damage or anything. I'll pop a picture. So my hair is just, I guess my strands are just really strong, which I do appreciate because I be just doing whatever with her. Anyway, okay, you know, I can't even, let me just put my hair on my chop. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my clip-ins. I'm super excited. Y'all know I, listen, one thing about me, I'm gonna wear better length clip-ins, okay, period. So I'm really excited because they're actually sponsoring today's video. So we'll talk more about them later on though. But in the meantime, in between time, my hair is washed, it's blown out, okay? I'm still waking up. I don't even know how much of this I'm gonna keep in. Anyways, I'm just, I'm literally just stalling from the inevitable. I love editing. It just takes up time. So, okay, gotta get back to it. Child, I hate when I'm a pop up. I say I'm a pop something on the screen. Like, girl, you know you gotta edit this video. Why is you doing too much? No, ma'am. <laughs> You. That went so good. She was a fellow lawyer looking to get into influencer marketing. I'm super excited about my lawyer influencer accelerator. Have I mentioned that on YouTube? I'm doing a lawyer influencer accelerator January, February. So it's a seven week course. It's going to be half. Really, I'd say more like majority like a course like a course course like self taught um kind of thing except i want it to be like guided so we're gonna get on a live meeting once a week so you kind of keep up with the course as we do the calls kind of thing that's the vibe but eventually i want it to be like an all course um that's the goal but i wanted to kind of do like a trial run this way to see how i like it how you know like what feedback i get and things like that so i'm really excited about that sales are probably gonna go live black friday so stay tuned for that. I have an email list. I'll leave it down below. I'm also done, not done, but like I don't want to ask people too many questions this year. I think so my first year, I feel like I was just asking for the answers and looking for the answers everywhere besides within. This year, I'm just going to do what I think is best. I'm going to trust my intuition and just go for it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. No coaches, no nothing. So I actually was going to participate in like a coaching live thing and I think I'm gonna cancel my ticket I think I really just need to trust my gut on this stuff right and just do what I need to do right I was just watching Erin on demand's video like yesterday or so and that's what she was talking about how she just trusted her own intuition and it helped her feel more confident now and when she makes decisions and that's really what I think I need to just trust myself and I know maybe this is a shock to y'all but like it wasn't that I wasn't confident in what I was doing like I know okay but Hold on, my lips is dry and I'm so good. Hold on. Intermission. We back. But um, I was just 
asking other people who I looked up to or who I already saw that was doing well, even in different industries, and I thought that's how it worked. Like I thought you had to do that to get, be successful. Like you had to ask other people. And to a certain extent, I learned a lot, yes, but like I also didn't check in with myself, I feel like enough. Not necessarily check in, just like trust myself in my decisions. Like I was just all over the place last year and this year, as far as this year in like my entrepreneurship journey. So I hit one year in um, September. So I'm in my second year of entrepreneurship because I don't want, I know it's still 2021. It's not 2022 yet. I ain't crazy. Um, but I just want to trust myself this year and just see what happens that way. I feel better that I don't have so much noise around. Anyway, I'm about to review a contract really quickly. I halfway, halfway reviewed it earlier. So I'm gonna go look into this just one last time and then get back with my client. Let's respond back to my client. Mm, there is a few red flags that I do not like. Hey, yeah, the reimbursed is, you know, <laughs> A huge red flag. That is not something they mentioned in the previous email. You see how things like that work? Then all of a sudden now they want to talk about reimbursing. I really don't like that. And so next they have their exclusivity term. So they say do not feature competitor product and they list some and then they say any other athletic brands. I don't know if you're working with any athletic brands, but just double triple check and get clarity if you are working with some to make sure that they don't apply to their competitor uh, information. They don't have a specific timeline as far as like how long you can't work with other brands. They just say during the actual content you're producing, you can't. But let me know if you have any questions. I can't lie, I don't wanna be here. <laughs> Do not feel like working out. But we're here, we're late, but I don't, I literally am just glad I made it. <sighs> My energy is not here, I'm tired. workout we're back home I'm showered and I'm feeling good I just put my hair in this little bun until I can put my clip-ins in I just did this cute little aesthetic coffee moment make sure you guys follow me on Instagram anyway I'm getting ready for a super exciting call if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs you know, have a really exciting partnership. I can't believe, I, I literally can't believe it. I can't even believe it. I'm just so excited for this call. I can't even think. Like my mind is like, ah. I guess I can tell y'all because I've already signed the contract. Somebody guessed it. Should I wait? Y'all already know. I wonder, it all depends on how these videos pan out. You might already know by now, but it's with Google. <laughs> Google, the Google, Google. I worked with them a few months ago. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but it was it was just to test out um, a system and a service and like a product, I guess they were thinking about launching. That was free, but they sent me the Google Nest that y'all know I love. I'm always like, hey Google this, hey Google that, hey Google that. Um, so then now, this is like also testing out something, but this is paid and it's for six months. I'm so excited. And I actually just signed another contract for four months. Um, so I'm just... God is working y'all because I literally have been wanting to get more consistent in like long-term partnership. That's always the goal in the influencer market industry. Pro tip, if you're a creator, get long-term partnerships. But aside from that, now that'll like relieve some of the stress that I have so then I can focus more on the legal tea and stuff like that because I can't wait to bring that series back on YouTube and like really get 
top quality. I, I don't know if you guys follow like other creators that like do sit down videos and like the quality of the video is amazing. They throw in different clips, kind of like Catherine Manning. Like she's educational platform. She has an educational platform. I would consider her main channel. And like I just love that. I love that, and I really want to bring a little bit of that on back to my channel. I miss that giving law students tips and tricks, but also spilling the legal tea on the influencer marketing industry. I was going to have a separate channel, like I do, but I think I'm just going to keep it all on one. I think again that was kind of like I mentioned. I don't know if it's in this video, but. I just was getting too many opinions and trying out too many things. And this, this go around, it's about me versus me. <laughs> Let's do it. You know, I always keep my little notebook so I can take notes or whatever. The case may be. <laughs> that went so good. We went a little over, but that went so good. So I can't actually tell y'all about the program exactly, but just know it's an awesome opportunity and I can share the content but I can't tell y'all, so. I can't tell y'all exactly what I'm doing, but just know, just know. Um, it's great. So, it's 12-18, I'm about to go ahead and review this contract really quickly for my clients, and then um, I'm gonna get my life together. Oh, this is a quick little contract. Only two pages? What? Okay, let me read this and then send him a voice message. I love Voxer. It's a voice and a text messaging app. It's amazing. Okay, let's see. Hey, okay, so I just took a look at the agreement. So yeah, that was a quick, that was a quick contract. Um, I really want to do my hair, but do I have time? Do I have time to do my hair? Do I? It's 12.22. I have a call at 2. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get cute because I'm feeling pumped. So, I'm going to... My clip-ins that I washed yesterday. I personally like to wash my clip-ins the day before, my Better Lane clip-ins, and let them air dry. And then, if I'm in a hurry, I will, like, blow dry them. And I use my favorite blow dryer, the Revlon. So let's grab the clip-ins, head over into my vanity area in my room, and let's get our hair done, okay? <laughs> so let's get into it, but first things first, thank you so much to Better Length for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you've been following me for a while, then you know I love Better Length clip-ins. I have been using their clip-ins for years. I have so many videos you guys can check. I'll actually just leave some links down in the description box for you to check out. Also, of course, I'll leave links to the exact clip-ins that I have other resources, coupon codes, all the things down in the description box. They're actually a little bit damp still, but that's perfect because I can show y'all the blow dry method that I use when I am blow drying my clip-ins. But here is what it looks like. As you see, it has some texture to it and it has some crinkle in it. I had a few people ask me like, did your clip-ins come with some crinkles in it? And they do, and I like that because Honestly, I feel like because of this texture, when you do straighten it, blow dry it, etc., it holds a style a lot better than like a silky texture. Also, it blends really well with my natural hair blown out. Let's get a little closer so you guys can see what the actual clips look like. So, this is what it looks like. This is what the clip looks like when it's closed. Pop it. You heard that? Pop it out, and then that opens up the clip so you can then clip it into your hair. Same thing for the rest of the clips. Fun fact. They did not send me any new clip-ins. These are some clip-ins that I've gotten either I bought myself and or they have sent me over the past several years. I just rewash them and I just put them all together because they're all still good quality. So they also provide you with additional clips. So if you do lose one or if it gets loose and they sometimes provide with thread as well. So you guys literally could just re-sew this back on if it does come off or get loose. So little tip right there. They do come in a variety of different lengths. So you see this is four clips. This one has three. They have two, this is like a longer two. They do have like a shorter two. They have a five one and like a couple other fours and threes. So, but that's enough about the specs, but I know some of y'all are like, girl, we just wanna see how you put it in. How do you style it? So I'm gonna first show you guys how I blow dry them, then install them, and then we gonna style them. Okay, so the blow dryer we're gonna be using today is this one right here. I love this. I like to blow dry them off my hair. I don't want the wet clip-ins like in my hair that could just cause all types of bacteria and things that we do not want. We want our hair to grow, okay? This is protective styling. Oh, 
also I do want to point out a better way to dry your clip-ins air dry them I completely forgot when I was doing this last night clearly I was tired is put them on hangers like you can literally clip your hangers I'll just show you actually <laughs> so yeah you can literally take a hanger clip it right on the clip-in clip it here I can't believe I didn't do this last night I forgot Boom, just like this, and it'll air dry a lot better. You can also keep it like this when you're blow drying. Okay, so we got, everything is blow dried. This looks so appealing, like look at this. I don't know why it looks. We got bundles. Also pro tip, if you're gonna put your hair in a ponytail, when you're doing clip-ins, put like the two rows, two or three rows in the back facing the opposite way. So let me show you, just part it, and I, your parts do not have to be perfect, y'all. Do not get caught up in making the perfect part or anything like that. Just part it so that you can clip the clip-in, okay? Clip-ins do not have to be complicated. Once you get the hang of it, y'all, I swear, I could do my clip-ins in like two minutes. Okay, maybe not two minutes, maybe five. Anyway, so boom, here we go. Here's my hair clips. So what I'm gonna do if I put my hair in a ponytail I'm going to put my head down and clip the clip-ins reverse. So I'm gonna clip it in backwards. Instead of clipping it like this way, right? Boom, boom, boom. Clip, clipping here, we're clipping it this way. Does that make sense? You're clipping it upwards. So let me show you, hopefully you can see. Y'all see? I clipped it upwards. So then you get a flatter surface if you're doing like a high ponytail. I hope y'all can see that. Editing camera, can you see that? <laughs> so yeah, but for the sake of this video, we're not doing that, we're gonna just do it the regular way. So, clip it in, so you're gonna clip it. And I like to kind of pull the hair, this is gonna be hard to explain, but I like to like lift up my hair and then clip it in there so it's not pulling on my scalp too much. I hope that makes sense. There we go, and also don't pull it so tight. So when you're clipping the clip in, you see like, you don't have to pull it all the way over here. Just pull it where it's clearly straight and stretched out and it's not like looping, but you don't have to pull it where it's super duper tight because that also is going to pull on your hair and it's going to hurt. But there we are. And then I like to brush it as I go because it can get tangly and girl, that hurts. So I just like to brush it and I kind of hold it at the clips. Just going to brush it. Boom. Clip-ins wear. Clip-ins wear. Where are the clip-ins? Where are they? Where are the clip-ins? I don't see them, do you? <laughs> this looks so good. I haven't like taken my time and put in clip-ins like I'm taking my time in this video. Usually I'm like rushing and throwing them in. Taking my time is really giving what's supposed to give. This could be a whole style in itself. It's giving I just blew out my natural hair. Don't play with her, play with somebody else. I know. I know you're trying to figure out where you're gonna get the funds. Just use your Friday check, like, sis. Bruh, bro, anybody. Don't, okay. Mind you, this is unstyled. This is just the install. All I did was blow out the clip-ins and blow out my hair. <laughs> it's giving ponytail. What, what? I love that y'all this is so cute and also I do sleep in my clip-ins I sleep in them like they're my hair sometimes I will put it in like a little like I do like a little twist bun thing like this just swirl it around like a, almost like a big bantu knot put a rubber band on it and a bonnet and or a scarf sometimes I like flat twist them sometimes I just put it in a ponytail or a bun now tomorrow all I have to do is style it and I'm actually gonna do that tomorrow and show you guys how I one curl it I was gonna do it tonight but the day is just going, beautiful people. So it's time to style our hair, and then we're gonna run some errands, i.e. get Starbucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do my hair because I'm gonna shoot some content today, and I just like when my hair is freshly done, and then tomorrow's actually Halloween. So 
my hair will already be done so I'll be ready and be cute for whatever I decide to do there actually is a day party that I want to go to so that's the goal but let's do our hair so I like to use heat protectant even on my clip-ins of course on my natural hair um, but I like to use it on my clip-ins as well I promise y'all I act like these clip-ins once they're in my scalp they're my scalp so I'm gonna treat them like my scalp <laughs> so I'm using the it's a 10 miracle oil keratin oil <laughs> uh, I really like this stuff I like it on my natural hair as well and I just use like literally just a little dollop a little dollop focusing all over the hair and the clip-ins now I will tell people are you okay let me know I'm the type of person like if someone is like oh girl your hair is so long or your hair is beautiful I'm like girl these is clip-ins okay where really no really 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 where are the clip-ins like I can't I can't find them oh I can't find the clip-ins <laughs> But thank you again to Better Lane for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Y'all know I love Better Lane clip-ins. That's nothing new. But I definitely want to show you guys how I've been styling them. But stay tuned because I will be working with them to try out. They have like U-part wigs and like V-part wigs and bundles. So I'm like, you know what? We know we love their clip-ins. But what else are they giving? So I'll be testing them out. So y'all got to spend y'all money. Once I test it out and we see that it's bomb, then y'all can spend your money. But let me try it first. Let me try it first. Get the clip-ins though. We know these are good. But yeah, so I'm really excited to be continue to work with them. Y'all know we love them over here and... They sponsored your girl. Woo! If you know, you know. Okay, so I just ran in. I put a hat on for one. Because it's like that misty rain where, like, I can't really even get my umbrella because it's it's misty. So, great day to curl my hair. But my hair still looks good. I just put a hat on. So, anyway, I just checked the P.O. box. And we got some stuff from Ana Luisa. Oh, True Earth detergent. I really like their detergent. Um, They must have just sent me some... PR. Oh, that was really nice of them. Because um, I wanted to... We may collaborate in the future, but they just like been sending me stuff so I can try it out. And I really like their stuff. True Earth. Definitely check them out. I'll leave a link down below. They are eco-friendly um, and like ethical, sustainable, all that type of laundry detergent. Um, let's see. What else I have? What is this? Uh, what is this? Oh, there's my card. I know they were like, girl. No, because my um business bank account card was ex was um expiring next month, as in like a couple of days from now, November. Um, and I called them like, hey, I don't have the card. I do, I'm sorry. I just didn't check my peel box. Oh, dang, I ripped the whole thing. This from the state bar. <laughs> Got my Alabama state bar license, baby, baby. You gotta pay it every year, y'all. So, yay, I have my updated one. They send you like a little, is there anything personal in here? Yeah, I guess I can't show that because that's my bar number and stuff. But anyway, okay. Um, let me just get out of here. I still haven't got Starbucks. I decided to go here first. Now I'm like, but I need Starbucks right now. Girl, I'm so sorry, I'm making all this noise. Is it giving Panera Bread? Sorry, I got my phone. Is it giving Panera Bread? I don't know. Maybe it's giving you something at the house, okay? Because nothing out here in these streets sound good. I was going to go to um, Urban Cookhouse and get, um, they have like this really good lime marinated steak with rice and stuff. That sounds really good. It's all part of pro. Maybe I'll do that. But maybe I'll get it to go. <laughs> I was going to sit there so y'all would, like we can... I'd be outside rather than only filming at the house because I feel like this vlog is boring. I always feel like my vlogs be boring sometimes. Not all of them, but 
I ain't doing much. But anyway, so I'm thinking about getting that. So Urban Cookhouse. Let's see. They have they have really good stuff. I like the chicken salad sandwiches. But this wood, wait, this lime marinated steak and rice with a garden salad and a warm orange roll. Let me get Starbucks. Ciao. Y'all over here listening to me talk to myself and go back and forth. I know people be looking at my car like, is she okay? Who is she talking to? So should we get our food to go or should we eat it there? It's like rainy and ugly and misty and just ugly. It's ugly. I want to be at home. It's ugly. <laughs> but I also don't feel like cooking for real. Let me just get this coffee first so I can. I feel like after that I can think. Okay, let's. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in this Starbucks line and there's kids in. Um, don't back up. I'm right here. Um, and there's kids in their Halloween costumes. Little cutie and this little Mario costume. Um, but anyway, this Starbucks line is the club, apparently. Hold on. I'm like, they must be doing like a little kids trick or treat in this little plaza area. Super cute. Um, I'm really salty about my hair. Like this is not giving. I was gonna try to do my makeup and take some photos outside, but it ain't. They're they're not gonna be able to back out. I don't even know why they parked there. I'm so excited about this coffee though. I feel like I'm already awake. Now that I'm in the line to get the coffee, I feel better already. Like I feel like already energized. <laughs> oh, oh, they're backing out anyway. They don't care. Okay, okay. Wow. Do y'all see? Oh, I don't want to hit this truck in front of me. They in this big A Yukon. Let me look at my back camera. I love that I can look at the backup camera. Like without I can't move up any further. They ain't gonna make it. Baby, just wait. Baby, just wait. Oh, y'all, this is stressing me. I should have showed y'all the backup camera, but I already have y'all on this contraption up there. Okay. I couldn't move up any further. They look at I'm Okay. I'm not I'm gonna exit that. I'm gonna um cut that clip because people will get i try very hard i i don't think i have road rage but like if road rage possibly maybe sort of if i if i possibly maybe had it maybe kind of i would probably maybe sort of maybe because girl people cannot drive it's like how disrespectful where is you gonna go where if i can't go up if we can't go to bella no chance where can we go <laughs> I feel like if you don't know the references references I do like in my videos you're probably like the girl's crazy the girl is crazy like it's not funny I hope some of my jokes be landing some of y'all say I'm funny or whatever so but yeah once I get in here ordering once I get I'll check back in because it's been two minutes of me three minutes of me just talk thanks for choosing Starbucks this is Mary let me I get started for you can I just do a grande pumpkin spice latte with almond milk no whipped cream a hot one Hot, please, yes. What else? That'll be it. Almond, no whip. Yes. Six fifty-five. Great, thank you. Welcome. Okay, I that took God's giving grace for me not to get the pumpkin loaf. The pumpkin loaf bread. That pumpkin loaf bread is so mf and good. It's so good, y'all. I swear to God, that oh, it's so good. Ooh. I hate the, this little thing like this isn't this isn't conducive for trucks like or maybe I just don't know I'm still getting used to like dimensions in the truck um but yeah for those that don't know I have a new jeep relatively new yeah there must be trick-or-treating around here what is she what are they okay it's a whole gang of kids they got a whole tribe of children a whole football team of folk <laughs> oh Jesus I am not ready for kids I'm 28 you would think I feel like when I was younger I would think okay 28 you're gonna be married and how well actually I never marriage wasn't never like the top of my head so but still now that I do want to be married I just thought you know I'd wake up in my late 20s and be like yeah I'm like love kids I want kids now Ooh, baby fever and I just I'm just a realist so when I look at kids I'm like that's a bill that's a whole bill for 18 plus years that's a bill for the rest of my life and I hope that doesn't sound bad. I don't mean it in a bad way. I love children. They're beautiful, cute little little baby. But like, girl, 
I'm not one to like minimize the responsibility of having a child. Like I think that is one of the most, I would say that's the number one responsibility of a parent is to, of a human to be a parent. Like I just feel like that is, I hold it to such a high pedestal. I guess that's a pro and a con, right? Cause I don't want to like be too hard on myself when I do, when, if I do ever have children, Lord willing. I don't know. I don't know where that rant, well, we're looking at the kids uh, trick or treating. So I guess that's where that rant came from. But anyway, I hope I don't sound crazy. I just feel like realistically like that is such a privilege to have a child like and I want to make sure that I'm in the right like financial emotional you know mental space all those things like able to be there for my child which is why I work so hard now you know like I work hard not only you know for me my stability my future family you know and then also my why which is to be able to have some type of foundation where I pay for law students um, minority law students um, law school tuition that's the goal so <sighs> yeah little rant but I'll check in when I get my coffee because they must got complicated orders. Let me see how many people is in the car behind me. I should have listened to their order. Maybe I'll buy their theirs behind me. It looked like it's only one person in the car. Because ain't nothing like... Have y'all seen the TikTok of the real where they, He was like, yeah, I'm going to buy the person behind me order. And they're like, okay, uh, 80-something dollars. It was like really high number. And they were like, what did they get? <laughs> or something like that. It was just funny. So I'm like, I was going to pay for theirs. But girl, I can't. I can't see who is in it. I should have listened to their order. Like, let me see what they got. If they got like one little coffee, like I may partake. But then also I don't want to take it back. Like, oh, I'll get the curse behind me. And they be like, okay, $82. What did they get? <laughs> Six fifty five. How are you? Hey, what did the person behind me get? Don't know. Uh I'll get theirs too, it doesn't matter. If you've got enough points to make one of their items free for 50, I would do that. Okay. Aww. They got um, a drink and like a little pumpkin thing. Cute. Look at me. Give it. I feel so good. Ah! That just feels so good. My heart is warm. I'm definitely getting a steak. <laughs> I deserve it. I love that kind of stuff. You just never know. I might have made that person's whole day. Or maybe they don't care. So let me not give myself the flattery. But, ooh. People, I know they saw me. Whoa, whoa, whipping that thing. Am I recording? Oh, yeah. I always be doing that because y'all are upside down on this thing. So I can't tell if I'm recording. It's very good. Very good. Yeah, I think I'm going to get it to go. So I can go home and get out these streets. But it sounds too good to like leave it here now. Like I can't just leave the food here anymore. I need to get it. So I think I'm about to just park right here. Dang, somebody in their car. What are they eating in their car? And I'm in their business. But just park right here. Let's order our food. So then I can drink my coffee until the food is ready. This is perfect. Well, they have a party barn right here. I can't wait until I have a house house. But that whole process just freaks me out. Like, honestly, like the whole house buying process, I don't know nothing about it. I don't even know. I don't even know what I don't know. Okay, I'm really just rambling now. 11 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna hate editing this. Maybe it'll be a long one. Yeah, cause it's supposed, I think this is gonna go up Sunday for Sunday's vlog. So maybe I can just name it weekly vlog, even though it's two days. Cause the term weekly vlog tends to do better. That's kind of an insider. So that's probably why if y'all like weekly vlog is only two, three days. It's just, why don't say days in life or day? Because weekly vlog, the word trends a lot better on Sundays. But I don't like to like lie. But is it a lie still week in the weekly? It's still within the week. <laughs> Girl, let me order online. Get out y'all here. Got the goods but i was just about to say yay it's not raining but it just started back doing this misting thing so let me do a little fast little run to the car chat because my hair is like girl don't play with her oh not a gallop okay let's get to the car
All right, so I just finished recording. So my makeup is done. I feel like it came out really cute, but yeah, it's a mess over here though. So, um, but I think that video is really good. So if you haven't seen, actually, no, this won't be up before then, but stay tuned for my life update video. I think it's a good one. Well, we'll see when I edit, but I think my makeup came out really good. Let me switch the camera so you guys can really see, really see what it's giving. I don't know why only this right here on my face wants to break out. Like right here, like just right here. So this is how my makeup came out. Super cute hair. Y'all saw me do that earlier, but yeah, I kind of like this background, but then you can kind of see like you see the lights in it, but I don't know. So we'll see when I edit it back, it comes out good. If not, it's the re-record it. That's, I don't want to re-record it, but I will. Cause I'm really quality, 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 quality is what I'm trying to do, but yeah, I need to get one of these crew necks that say hashtag the legal tea. Ooh! Stay tuned. I'm just merch is a whole nother thing. Like, girl, I'm not ready. So, yeah, but I love these clip ins. I love them. I'm sitting on the couch because I'm going to just try to wind down. If you hear a noise, it's my electric tea kettle <laughs> boiling some water so I can make some tea and just relax. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. But I want to go ahead and download the video clips from this vlog and put it on my laptop or on my hard drive so I can get started with that. So I'm just going to put on some TV, kind of do some admin stuff um, while that's downloading, like emails. I just need to look at emails. Like I'm not going to respond because it's super late, but I want to like look and see what's in there because I haven't been in my emails at all. I'm just tired. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys thumbs it up if you did and comment below this affirmation. If you don't know, now you know. I always end my vlogs with an affirmation. So I am grateful for all that I have. So many times we are constantly thinking about what's the next move? What do we want next? Like what is the next goal for us to achieve? But sometimes we're right now we're living in exactly everything we used to dream about. I'm trying to make it deep. I'm exhausted, but y'all get the point. So I'm gonna run that back on one time, a foot on one time. Make sure you guys comment below if you made it this far in the video. I am grateful for all that I have. And I am so grateful for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try to get some rest. <laughs> am I really on here looking this raggedy? Okay, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Love you guys.